Hello class, welcome to the Minute Math YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button below and share our videos. You can also find great math content and links to all of our videos at www.minutemathtutor.com. All right now, enjoy the lesson. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about add and subtract fractions and mixed numbers, and we're going to evaluate each expression. So, if I was given these numbers, negative 1 and 7 eighths, plus a negative 3 and 1 half, okay? Well, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to break this down to be a mixed number, to be whole number and proper fraction, okay? So, we have a negative 1 plus a negative 7 eighths right there, okay? Make sure we bring the negative over. Then, plus a negative 3 plus a negative 1 half, okay? So, what I'm going to do now, once I broke it up, I'm going to add my whole numbers, but I can't directly add these fractions, okay? So, we're going to have to break those down and figure out what they have to be. So, negative 1 and negative 3 is a negative 4, but what I'm going to do here on the side is a negative 7 eighths plus a negative 1 half, okay? Well, we need to have the same base. So, I know that one negative 1 half is the same thing as uh, negative 4 eighths, and that's going to have the same base. And essentially what I'm doing is multiplying this by 4 over 4, trying to get that denominator there. So, negative 7 over 8 plus a negative 4 eighths Okay, that comes out to be, well, we add our negatives here. We add our negative, uh, or we keep the, the denominator the same, add the numerator. Negative 7 plus a negative 4 is a negative 11. So a negative 11 over 8 here. Okay, now, since that's an improper fraction, we want to make it a proper fraction. So that's the same thing, we'll kind of break it down. 8 goes into uh, 11 one time, so we have a negative 1 there. Okay, and then what was left over would be 3, so we have plus a negative 3. 8. So negative 11 over 8 is the same thing as negative 1 plus a negative 3 eighths. That I bring over here, plus a negative 1 plus a negative 3 eighths. Okay? Well, the negative 4 that we found plus a negative 1 is a negative 5. And then we can bring down the negative 3 eighths here. Now we can combine these two, combine them, right, to be one fraction. So we have negative 5 and 3 eighths here. And there we have our final answer. So quick recap, we're given negative 1 and 7 eighths plus a negative 3 and 1 half. I broke those down to be a whole number and proper fraction. I added the whole numbers, but then I also added the fractions, doing this right here, and splitting it up a little bit. So we have negative 4 plus a negative 1 plus a negative 3 eighths. Combine the whole numbers again, then um, put together our whole number and our fraction to get our final answer, negative 5 and 3 eighths. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, the creator of Minute Math. And if you like this video, please hit the like button that's right there. If you have a mathematical question, just add it to the comment section below. And lastly, if you want to see more videos just like this one, hit subscribe. It's right there. But as always, thanks for watching.